I'm back! Woo, 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 woo. Welcome boys and girls, it's been such a long time since I've done my vlogs. A year, two years, who knows? But this time, same thing, we're never doing my games that I never finished. We know how that went. Don't we, Nick? Don't we? We're doing the A to Z challenge, where every week, you, the viewers, you, 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 especially you, are choosing what I do. So, A, B, C, D, everything, you put down in the comments below, send a tweet to me, too, and then every week, I will talk about it for five minutes straight. Simple as. So, let's get the proceedings underway. As I had a recent trip to Amsterdam, Amsterdam for A, let's go! Hey, welcome back. And I think we should just get this straight on the way. Five minutes on the clock. Let's do this. Okay. Amsterdam's a brilliant place to go to. It's just a great place to go to for like at least go once in your life or go more times if you want. Happy days. Just go once. Perfect. It's a place you things just are weird, wonderful, and just just awesome really. So yeah, let's just get on with it then. It's a brilliant place to go to, it's got clubs, pubs, food, drink, and Amstel, Heineken, you name it, it is there. And the other side, which obviously most of you do know what it is. But yeah, it's just brilliant. We And we all had experiences after the three days. From falling over bikes, to losing a passport that was physically still on them, to doing cheese shops. Yep, cheese shops. Whams in Amsterdam, stays in Amsterdam. And it is the cheese country of the world, isn't it? But don't do cheese shops, really, just, just don't. Yeah, back to this. So yeah, it was brilliant. We saw many sights and sounds from the red light district and all the women in the booths to the banana bar, which is basically a bar where you pay 70 euros and a woman that does anything with bananas. Anything. And for 35 euros, you can get a dance from a woman of your choice. Well, in someone's, I know his case, he didn't get a choice. But yeah, it's just one of those places you've got to visit at least once. But I am Amsterdam, you gotta visit. And yeah, the weed, when I'm in, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, okay, I was coughing my guts up. But you got experience, haven't you? And the, those space cakes were actually really nice. The Turkey chocolate cake was actually pretty nice. But you end up start laughing at avocados. Yeah, I told you it was weird. And yeah, just there's that part, but then we get onto the sex machine. There's all those other things like Anne Frank, Van Gogh, blah, 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 blah. No one cares about that. Yeah, if you're family holiday, you better do. If you're on a lad's holiday, or a lass's holiday, sex museum's supposed to be. It's quite educational. You think it's going to be some sleazy shit, but no. It's actually fucking brilliant. If you want my honest opinion. But yeah, just, you definitely got to go to that one. And yeah, turn. Banana bar, this place you've got to visit. Even if you don't see a woman do stuff with bananas, you can still get a dance. 35 euros. Nine. Visiting the red light district at least once is definitely an experience. If you, if you don't use the facilities, it's still a good, nice, still good walk. At the very least. Eight. You've got to be doing cheese shops. If you're going to do it, do it in Amsterdam. Nowhere else. Because it's just fucking weird. Seven. Obviously do weed. Cakes, whatever you want to do. Don't do too much, but just at least try it, because it is legal there. I know it's legal in other countries, but that's why you go to Amsterdam. Six! Sex Museum. This is a, it's a great place to go to. It's been at least an hour or so just looking around, looking at porn. For an educational purpose, not for what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Five! The food and drink. Amstel and Hansen, Heineken's decent, and the food is just what you get at home, really. Four. Definitely clubbing. The clubs are not bad, though. Yeah, they're a bit cheesy here and there, but they're not bad, and they're definitely worth doing. Three. Don't leave your coat lying around, because you're going to lose it. Two. If you lose your passport, just check on your body before you start getting all moany and groaning. Okay, one, because it's fucking awesome! Okay, well that's it. Sum up. It's a brilliant place to go to and thing. And just, it's worth doing. Simple, it's a brilliant place to go to and it's worth doing. Okay, remember, 
comment below, tweet me, or what I'm doing for B. Simple as, and yeah, thank you for watching. And remember, ciao for now! Food, Heineken, and still. And that's fucking up. Jesus! Well, welcome back. Or 35 euros, and you get a strip top. And you stir. Anything. Anything. And you get a 35 euros, you get a strip dance. What the fuck are they called? Strip dance. And at 35 euros, you get a strip. I don't know what the fuck it's called! Oh! Seven! Is... Okay. What the fuck did I just do that? Not that. Not that. Five. Five. <laughs> oh, penis juice. Simple as. William, shut the fuck up! Let me finish this video so your friends want it.